Uh, this is year one. Uh, we're about to do um, 3D shape. We did a 2D shape yesterday lesson, all about the properties of the shapes and the names of the shapes. Uh, the children have got the 2D shape relatively well, so we're now moving on to 3D shape. We're going to be doing something called a barrier game, where they have to use that vocabulary to describe to their partner the shapes that they have. The children are going to be grouped um, in mixed ability pairs. The less able group are off with the, a TA. They're going to be doing a 2D revision and a 3D shape. They'll be doing a slightly different activity. They'll be doing 2D pictures and 3D models using the vocabulary and the properties of the shapes that they have. Then the rest of the children will be mixed ability grouped across the class. They're going to be working in pairs to basically fine tune the language there was lots of misconceptions yesterday with edges and sides, particularly vertices is the one we'll be looking at today because that's new vocabulary for them. And there's an odd shape that I put in there for hopefully someone to find that we can talk about at the end. It's my turn now, so I'm going to turn around. Right. Mr Pond's going to see if I've got my thinking head on now. Uh, okay. okay, now remember, she's going to pick her shape. I need to ask her some questions, don't I? Okay, right. I'm not okay. peeking. Just so that everyone can see... Don't tell me. But you can't tell Mrs. Parkinson, this is the shape I've picked. Okay, I've got my shapes in front of me to look at, and I've also got my shapes I'm looking at on the table, so I can help with my questions. Okay. Um, right. Does, oh, first question, is it a 3D shape? It definitely is. Okay, good. So that's a good start. Okay. Has it got three faces? No. Right. So I know it's not a so I'm going to put that one up. Um, has it got one curved edge? No. no. So, what we're going to do today is you are going to do exactly what Mr. Fon and I have just shown you. You have got on your tables a set of shapes and a 3D shape map to have a look at to help you. Okay, what you're going to do is with your partner, you're going to sit back to back and one of you is going to choose a shape. The other one though has got the tricky job because you have to think of the questions you're going to ask. You can't say, is it a cube straight away? You have to ask some property questions. So has it got vertices? Has it got faces? Has it got sides? Connor, you need to listen lovely otherwise you're not going to know what to do. So, you've got to think of really good questions using those describing words. That was our ladybird. I can describe my 3D shape. So you need to know the name, but also you know, need to know what it's got. When you think you've got it, you can have a guess, and then you can turn around and see if you were right, and then you're going to swap over. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. Remember our spider? If you can't remember, it's got edges, faces, vertices, and we've also got our working wall that you helped me with yesterday. So if you're not sure of any of those things, you can have a look on there as well. And you can have a look and see how many sides, how many faces. That's what we found out yesterday for the shapes on the side.